Go. Jen Brew of Council that is for tonight. Start again. It's too casual, Carl. <laughs> you start with what the F. I don't think it works. Do it. If that's what you have to do on set, because that's what we plan to do, let's see you make it work. That's your job. <laughs> Go. Hi. Hello. Jen Brew of Council that is for tonight. What are you talking about? Yeah. She's going on CNN. Well, who's she, who's she sending instead? Oh, man, it, no one from the governor's office is going to show. Oh my god. What happened on that call? It can't have been because of the call. What happened? Nothing. I didn't I didn't even say anything. It's. I was on the phone to Glenn Fisher and it was it was totally by the book. Okay, so the interview's going fine when all of a sudden... Oh, things happen, Jim. That's beyond <coughs> your newsman powers of understanding. I wish you'd have told me you dated Glenn Fisher in college. How could you possibly know that? Pull him to your desk. Don't let anyone else hear. Oh God, how could you possibly do that? Well, you told me, and I wish you would. No, but then you would have taken me off it. I would have. And that's why I didn't tell you. You have to tell me when you're in a relationship. It wasn't a relationship. It was like four dates. Okay. And now he's the press aide for the governor who gave us Barry Goldwater and the football team who can't win an online with an online system. You're a football fan? No, I looked it up. And the fourth date didn't count. Right, is the fourth date relevant to the interview? It might be. What happened on the fourth date? Oh, we, went, we went back to his dorm room and we started making out a little bit. Uh-huh. And then there was this crazy banging at the door and it was his ex-girlfriend and she was yelling, you've got a sled in there. Yeah? I think she was talking about me. Okay. Okay, and then Glenn said, get under the bed. Well, not the closet. No, we were in a dorm. There's no room. So I got under the bed. He let his ex-girlfriend in and they started to patch things up. <laughs> With you under the bed? Yeah. Um, what, when you say patch things up? Yeah. What, you say... Oh my yes. god! Yes, Jim, they did it. They did it. They settled their differences. And you know what? They did it very quickly. Because apparently, Glenn is very quick. Well, as compared to who? Five minutes? I don't know. Jim, I didn't have a stopwatch on him. It was definitely under two though, because I was holding my breath. But is this even important? I don't know what's important yet. This is why I'm listening to the story. Well, they finished, they left, I waited a minute, then I left. And fast forward to the call. So he said that they want Arizona to do well in the Obama race to the finish initiative. And you said to Glenn? How appropriate for you. Yeah, good one. Thank you. You said you didn't inject any of your personal options? I didn't inject any of my personal opinions on the bill. Okay. First of all, the initiative is called Race to the Top, not Race to the Finish. I know. And that is why I was so sure that God was on my side and teed this up so easily for me. Second of all, why didn't he... What? Well, what? Tell her to leave, go somewhere else? It was 2 a.m. What are they going to say? Well, like, let's go somewhere private and talk. They're in the dorm room. Like, there was no other option. Oh, you had an option. I mean, you could have not hit it under the bed. I had an option and... Okay, I made a decision. It might not have been the right decision. It might not have been. Well, I had to commit to it. I made a decision, I had to commit to it. But, I will tell you one thing. He did this on purpose. What you think? Are you being sarcastic? Because yes, I think he's doing this on purpose. Right, look. We've got less than 90 minutes to find someone to defend the SB 1070 and get them to the studio. But after the show, a bunch of us are going over to the Emerald City to see Wizard Mine. of Oz. And maybe you can give... My mind is fine. Just give me the stats and I'll take them. Maybe he'll give you some courage is what I was going to say. Please just tell me what to do. Well, grab some brokers. Whoever's free and and come into the conference room. And this is an emergency, okay? Okay, okay I'll be there in a minute. Yeah. Maggie? Yeah. I don't know anyone in the world who've hidden under the bed.